Okay, so I just busted Andrea <laughs> with a stolen pen that says cashier on it. So whoever, wherever she was today, if you're missing your pen, we have it here. We will make sure to get back, get back to you safely. Too. All right, we're going to talk not? about uh, D.C. because, as you have probably guessed, unemployment remains very high, not just in America, but especially in the nation's capital. It's 8.5 percent. Walmart was planning on building six stores in D.C. That would nearly add 2,000 jobs to the area, but it's now pulling the plug on at least three of them because just within the last hour, a so-called living wage bill was passed by the D.C. Uh, government. Now, this has been tried before in other cities. Um, one of them, Eric, was Chicago, where you're from. Um, Mayor Daley, in 17 years, had only done one veto, and it was on this same type of thing, a living wa wage bill. Uh, they were not able to override the veto, and now Walmart has several th thriving stores there and lots of jobs. Do you think that D.C. is um, shooting itself in the foot? Yeah, there's the absolutely no question in my mind D.C. is, and, and Walmart's going to pull the plug on three stores, 2,000 jobs. Just to put this in perspective, the minimum wage in D.C. right now is eight, eight and a quarter. This new law that they just passed makes it for just for big box retailers. So they're uh, right. specifically for just this this type of company, twelve fifty. That's almost a fifty percent increase in the minimum wage. It's more than a fifty percent increase in the minimum wage. T to understand what Walmart's all about, they're about thin margins. If you take fifty percent increase, fifty percent on on half of their sales, if this were to be uh, company wide. You would wipe out their full profit and you would put 2.2 million people out of work. As it is, you're only going to put 2,000 people out of work very quickly. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the other jobs to build the superstores. Mm -hmm. A lot of construction jobs, a lot of satellite jobs that are associated with it, too. But the, the, the word that you mentioned is profit, and you're, and you're seeing two forces meeting, one that is driven by profit and another one that, that doesn't have to. It's driven. Government is driven by force. They can take your money. Walmart has to make the money. Uh, leftists see capitalists as worse than gangs, which is why in Washington, D.C., there are more gangs than there are capitalists. Walmart makes their money, sends their money to China, number one. They they, they order their they stuff in China, and they, send, and they send dolls here. Bob, with the other let me ask you something. So the grocery stores that, were, that are unionized, and they're not subject to the same uh, uh, law, mm -hmm. but, but they sell the same product. How is that fair? What do you mean? Is how is that fair? The fact of the matter is, well, how Walmart, is it fair? <laughs> Walmart pays eight fifty to work in their stores. No, but the union. But if you're a union shop and you're in D.C. and you sell the same product that might be made in China or somebody, somewhere else, you're not under the same rules as Walmart's. No, going. they get paid twelve or thirteen dollars an hour at, at uh, Giant. Uh, well, I, actually, I don't know how much they get paid. Andrew, your thoughts? I, I do think that Walmart can hurt small business owners in they certain aspects. They do hurt aspects. small business owners. It, I, I, I will say that. I do understand the concern. But, Dana, this bill is a very specific anti-Walmart bill. If you look at the things that they mention in here, I mean, they're definitely targeting Walmart. And you and I have lived in Washington, mm -hmm. D.C. You go into a lot of these low-income neighborhoods. People are buying what they need for the day in these grocery stores mm -hmm. that are far more expensive than the Walmart. So when you have prevailing wage versus minimum wage, like you do in this case, you get no wages because there's no jobs and not cheaper products for the people they have, living in low-income neighborhoods. Uh, youth unemployment in D.C. is at 34 percent. The other stat that I uh, was interested in from Walmart today, 75 percent of people that start hourly end up in management at Walmart stores across mm -hmm. America. Also, this is, if you look at profit per employee, take a look at that number. It, I'm going to show it to Bob in the commercial break. We're going to come back. He's just, his mind's going to be blown. Look that's, at that. That's good. And then, then management makes $11 an hour. There but, you go. But, the, but government hates Walmart because for, for, every good person, reason. for every person that works on Walmart, that's one less person dependent on government. Yeah, All right. Touche. Mm -hmm. Coming up, just because he was not.